Well, I'm uh, really uh, excited about the fact that after every assessment, uh, there is this feeling, now we've done it. We know so much, what else could we ever possibly assess in the next cycle? However, st science doesn't uh, stop, doesn't uh, stand still, and uh, there is already now a lot of progress of, in several areas that I think would be extremely uh, exciting and important to have a closer look in the future assessment. Uh, for example, there is uh, the ominous uh, uh, warming pause that was uh, uh, hotly debated uh, towards the end of the fifth assessment cycle. I think there have been uh, lots of uh, new and insightful studies that uh, are in the pipeline for the next assessment that uh, will provide us with a much richer knowledge on this interesting phenomenon of natural decadal variability. Uh, another uh, issue I think uh, concerns uh, the whole topic of tipping points uh, in various components of the climate system. Uh, as we speak, there are many research groups that uh, actively investigate uh, tipping points, uh, for example, in uh, uh, the carbon cycle, in uh, vegetation cover, but also in uh, the Arctic, both physical but also biological when it comes to ecosystems. I think it's of crucial importance to take a closer look uh, uh, at what the science can say, uh, can tell the policymakers uh, regarding the consequences of such tipping points and basically their imminence uh, if, if uh, the science uh, finds evidence for that. A very large area, I think, that uh, needs uh, a, a extremely good coverage in the next assessment report is ocean acidification. Ocean acidification is really a crosscut uh, across uh, primarily working group one and two, but also has implications for issues that are looked at working group uh, three. Uh, ocean acidification, uh, physically a, a very clear phenomenon with uh, surprisingly small ranges of uncertainty. But the uncertainties really kick in when we ask questions about how ecosystems, marine ecosystems, react to a changing chemical environment compounded with the increased temperature and even perhaps uh, changes in ocean circulation, uh, upwelling in coastal systems. Uh, so uh, these are very complex questions that require, uh, again, very careful scoping so that uh, we cover this important area uh, comprehensively in the next report.